We hear of people having a traumatic brain injury, a TBI, but what does that really mean? Traumatic brain injuries can have a wide range of psychological and physical effects. So as many as 3.8 million concussions occur each year and almost half of concussions that occur go undetected and untreated. This morning we are joined by Dr. Caitlin Mooney, a sports medicine specialist at UT Health San Antonio to explain. Good morning, Dr. Mooney. Thank you so much for taking the morning. time to join us. So Good first morning. and foremost, what is a traumatic, bra traumatic brain injury and who is most at risk for it? Sure. So a traumatic brain injury occurs when you either hit your head or your body is involved in a trauma and your head has either a direct impact or kind of moves around in your skull and has an injury. So injuries range from mild where you won't have a like a skull fracture or a bleed to severe where the person might be even unconscious and have an ambulance arrive. Um, so th of course the ones that would be going undetected would be more on the mild range. Um, the people who are at risk for traumatic brain injuries tend to be the people who are more risk takers. So young adults, um, children are very at risk for traumatic brain injuries. They're very active. Um, and then, you know, anyone doing activities, you know, sometimes accidental activities or motor vehicle accidents can also have a traumatic brain injury, but definitely the younger age groups tend to be more at risk. And then also older age groups are more at risk for falls, so they can also suffer quite a um, large percent of the traumatic brain injuries. So what are some common events that could cause traumatic brain injuries? I know a lot of uh, parents out there watching may be concerned about their kids playing sports, uh, certain sports that may lead up to that. Yes, yeah, so sports and recreational activities are one of the leading causes of traumatic brain injuries as well as uh, car crashes. So the sports that commonly are involved, um, football being the highest risk, and then um, for females it can be soccer, also things like cheerleading, um, horseback riding, bike riding, uh, hockey, which isn't very popular down here in Texas, all can have risk. And honestly, I've seen um, uh, concussions in nearly every sport, including swimming, you know, hit the, your head on the um, wall before flipping, or even track. So while there's high, higher risk sports, really all, any activity you can be at risk. Now for parents out there watching who have young kids playing sports, you know, what are some of the symptoms that the parents should look out for? Sure. So especially if you uh, know that your child hit your head, but even without, if they're complaining of headache, uh, they are acting a little odd. That could be confusion or they're just not acting like themselves. Um, other concerning things could be nausea, vomiting. They can have vision change. That could be double vision, really sensitive to light. Um, even problems in school or balance problems can be a symptom of a concussion. So it's quite a w wide range um, and not any no concussion is really exactly the same, but those are some of the most common symptoms. I know um, it can be concerning. So at what point uh, should someone seek medical attention or what point should a parent, you know, get their child checked out? Sure. So if you see these symptoms, a lot of, for the majority of mild traumatic brain injuries, they can be assessed in a clinic in the following days. However, there are some more concerning symptoms that might lead someone to go see, go to the ER and see a physician earlier. And those can be signs and symptoms of um, a bleed or a more severe traumatic brain injury. And those symptoms would be um, loss of consciousness, vomiting, especially repeat episodes of vomiting, slurred speech, not able to walk, having weakness, or really agitated or just worsening headache and worsening symptoms. In that case, I would seek medical attention emergently. However, once you're being assessed, sometimes there isn't a bleed or a skull fracture. It is a concussion. But those are the ones that I would make sure got seen right away. All right, Dr. Mooney, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate your time. Thank you.